everyone. So today we're out in a cornfield here at the Western Agricultural Research Station. And today I'm going to be talking a little bit about some of the symptomology that we see with corn when it starts to experience um, sometimes mild, but more likely with moderate type water stress, um, meaning there's not enough water. So a common plant response is in corn is to actually form these kind of boat shaped or leaf rolling type symptomology. And so the leaf is starting to roll. It basically goes from being flat, um, so it can intercept all of the light that it's experiencing, to kind of fold up. It does this because it has this specialized set of cells inside of here called bulliform cells. And as those start to wilt, basically that causes the leaf to close up. One of the reasons it does this is to minimize the direct interception of light to help protect the photosynthetic mechanism in the leaves. If it has direct light but no water to use that light, it can cause a lot of damage to the leaf tissue. So by changing the orientation, it goes from directly intercepting the light to being more in shade uh, to help protect that photosynthetic mechanism. Another reason the plant's leaf will roll is to actually protect the plant from water loss. Basically, when the leaf rolls up, it's harder for wind to get into here, and it doesn't allow that water to be carried away as quickly as you might experience if the leaf was wide open. And so it builds what's called the boundary layer resistance, or the ability for that water vapor to leave the leaf surface. It becomes more difficult with the leaf rolled up as compared to being open. And so those are a couple reasons. It could be for water conservation. It could be for protection from the sunlight. But it's one of the many ways that corn responds to low water stress or moderate water stress in a way that helps protect it for future yield gain down the line.